Apparently, there is no other label that is linked with female archetype as Saint Laurent. That's their wording for this show. Um, I'm excited about this show because I was saving Saint Laurent and Chanel for the last one because they generally have incredible sellouts. They have incredible sellouts, that's for sure. Uh, but we're gonna watch Saint Laurent today and tomorrow probably we're gonna have Chanel. So if you're not subscribed, make sure to subscribe to the channel. If you have any suggestions, if you know of any label that I missed on, make sure to leave that in the comment and let's get straight into the show itself. All right, by Anthony. I love the floor. That's the, that's a beautiful thing that I admire from Saint Laurent is that um, most of their shows are in this big venues that boast uh, the archetype uh, architecture of the um, set itself. I love these shoulders, like they truly represent uh, that boldness. Mm -hmm. And I love those bleeded bands. Um, You can't tell me they have the best uh, silly hours for formal occasions, especially. These are like 80s, 90s dawn right there. I like how the flower is a little bit wet. Those reflections are truly paid actors. Like those reflections on the floor, ooh, they look really good. It could be just me, but I'm starting to love uh, these type of articles, or no, these type of looks. Uh, especially pleated bands. They, I mean, they've been always my favorite. Ooh, that is that skirt? That looks really nice. That outfit. I'm just waiting on how, not how, when I would be able to present such a show that would be amazing. Ooh, look at that. That's a beautiful, beautiful outfit right here. It's giving me Dior vibes. I mean, um, Saint Laurent used to be the Dior's uh, prodigy and then later became um, creative director for Dior when Dior died. Fun fact. So most of his work is kind of driven from Christian Dior. And I mean, hey, right now, Saint Laurent is making bucks. I mean, he's not here, but 
the label itself is making huge bucks. I mean, it's not at the R level, but hey, it's, it has an, its own legacy. I mean, that's what matters at the end of the day, kind of like showcasing your legacy and kind of building upon your legacy uh, into future. So you already kind of distill a certain legacy that you want to, and then further down the line or in future, people kind of follow on to your legacy. That's what pretty much happened with all the brands. Brands are nothing but uh, legacies turned, in, turned commercial. These are beautiful dresses, like really beautiful. I love these necklaces. That looks beautiful. Are they made by Saint Laurent? Probably. I love these bomber jackets as well. I wasn't commenting on it, but I was noticing they look really beautiful, especially with like bold, chunky. A uh, strap from the waist. Ooh, she looks beautiful. Now oh, that looks beautiful. And oh, now that was beautiful. Is that her? Yeah, that is uh, Bella Hadid, I think. Or Gigi Hadid. I always confuse their name by one of the heat. Oh, I like that turtle look. That turtle neck is beautiful. Ooh, that's interesting actually for a turtle neck. Hmm. It's kind of made of mesh. Yeah, these are actually really unique uh, set of testing for formula tires. Hmm, I love it. It's not like classic Saint Laurent where they just stick to um, black and white uh, tones and then just test on it. But this, this is actually really experimental, I like it. And I mean, silly outs, they always had incredible silly outs, so...
Damn. Is that a screen? Ooh. Ooh. And look at the lady sitting on in the show itself. That is an incredible show. Mm-hmm. I like it. No, I no not like it. I love it. That shot right there was a mob shot, right? That was a mob shot. And yeah, I again told you, these water, uh, the, the water on the floor is a paid actor. It acts as an ambience to that mob feeling. Feels like a movie. Ooh, that must be getting wet. If it, it was my Saint Laurent and I like I bought the Saint Laurent, I'd be so pissed. I'd be like, why? Uh, like I'll be pissed because why I'm getting it wet or whatever. I wouldn't even wear it in a on a rainy day. Cause why do I wanna get it dirty? Look at that shot. Mm -hmm. That chandelier is beautiful. That was an incredible collection right there. Hmm. Was it better than Silly? Gucci? Sorry. Because right now Gucci holds the throne, right? Um, no, that was beautiful. Let me think. Was it better than Gucci? I don't think so. Uh, because Gucci's show was also incredible. They had really beautiful dresses, unique silhouettes, patterns. Um, hmm. It was definitely better than Celine, that's for sure. You know what? Yeah. So I'll rank it as Gucci, Celine, I know, Gucci, Saint Laurent, and Celine at this point of age. Um, yeah, it, it was better than Dior, that's for sure. It was way better than Dior. Um, yeah, that's my ranking. It's the second best show of 2024. If you haven't seen the Gucci show, it should be in the channel. Go to the videos, you'd be able to watch 
um, and let me know what you think about that or but let me know what you think about this show as such. To me, this was unique. This was really incredibly um, displayed and I loved it. I'll catch you in the next show. And that show is gonna be for Chanel and I am low-key excited for that one. I was sharing, saving it for the last, but there are a couple other shows that I wanna see after, but I can't hold on to Chanel anymore. And I'll catch you in the next one. Take care and stay safe.